man, oh man. Doesn't it just feel good to be back on my own bike today? Don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful that my dad will let me take one of his motorcycles out while he's kind of watching my kid. Grandma too, thank you for that. And it just, it feels so good to be back on your own bike. <laughs> There's just something you get so comfortable with your bike. You know the handling logistics. You know it's yours. So if you mess it up, it's not as big a deal, right? So, uh, but today I want to talk about me being a, a motorcycle fraudster. Let's roll that intro and I will get to what I'm talking about. Roll it. So I was kind of thinking, now that we have hit the quote unquote dog days of summer, I feel like I am not a true motorcycle enthusiast. So the reason I'm saying that is, it is now about 7.45 in the morning right now. And I want to be done riding for the day by 9 a.m. What? I don't have a desire, at least right now, to, to ride all day. <laughs> I don't, now, now part of that is, today is my wife and I's five year anniversary of us being together. So that's part of it today, but even if that wasn't the case today and I had just like a day off during the week, I don't know if I could ride all day. I, I don't like being hot. And it's a catch 22 because I don't like riding without gear. <laughs> Cause I could shed some of these off. Shirt so sexy it hurt. But you know, I don't know. Um so that's kind of like my, my thought on it is this is the fact that I only want to ride at either sun up or sundown in the summertime and not spend all day on the motorcycle getting super hot, dehydrated. Does that make me a fraudster? I hope not. I mean, I would love to ride all day. I just don't think my body could take it. And when it was when it was springtime and fall time, that changes quite a bit because when the high is like 75, 80 degrees, I could go all day on those days, but I am just not a, a summertime guy, which I live in Kansas City, so you're either getting mainly summer or mainly winter. Spring and fall, <laughs> they can last a couple days of that and they're gone. But I like to feel like though that just because my riding time is not as much as some of the other guys out there who will cruise and put three or 400 miles down on their bike today, I like to feel that the, the passion and the love for motorcycle riding is, is the same. Just because I don't enjoy it maybe to their extent, does that really, you know, make that person any much better than I am? They might be a better rider because they have more seat time, sure. But as far as the love goes, I think we love it equally. Hi puppy! this temperature right here is perfect I I broke a really good sweat getting all the gear on in the garage because there's no wind and it's probably about 80 degrees right now and the sweat is acting as kind of like a cooling agent so right now I feel really good but I know once about 10 o'clock hits this morning it's going to be mm, I think 95 for a high with like 90% humidity. <laughs> I just don't want to do that. <laughs> so 
guess the reason I'm bringing it up is because I see a lot of people, they make videos like I do, you know, do little short little 10 to 15 segments. I gotta ask, what's your guys' writing like? I mean, is there anyone else who's out there like me who will ride for maybe an hour and a half in the morning and maybe another hour in the evening? I feel like I can't be the only one who hates heat that much. But it very well could be. It very well could be. <laughs> uh, but guys, this is a beautiful Sunday morning. And like I said, I, I rode Dad's V-Rod yesterday. Uh, I wanted to give it a test. Because um, I really do like how that bike is. But my next bike, I want to be a, a city functional bike. And I'll get into this when I do the review on it later in more depth, but it's not a good city bike. Uh, it's comfortable. Uh, your, the seat time was fine, but I'll go into the specifics at another point why I don't like it for a stop and go traffic light sort of bike. Still working on uh, convincing the wife to give me a three to four thousand dollar budget to go find like an older Triumph, Royal Enfield, something along those lines that we could build into a cafe scrambler slash city bike. I know we have our Sportster, which is good, but I kind of want to have something else in the garage. I do see Harley's making a new like some sort of future custom vehicle thing that looks kind of like a cafe racer but I can only imagine the the price tag that thing is going to bring with it. Uh, see I couldn't do this yesterday. These turns the way the way I'm getting low with them which I'm not getting overly low but low enough. I just didn't have that confidence. Again it's not my bike. I don't ride it all the time. So again uh, this is just a little short little video. Not really much to say, just something I kind of thought of as I was getting ready this morning. Like, am I am I putting on a front? Does, does my channel make it seem like I I ride my motorcycle all day, all the time? Because I don't, and I don't want to portray that I am either. Because I would feel like you guys know by now, I'm about as real as it gets. I don't try to fake out anything on the channel if I am embarrassed to say something I just won't say it <laughs> so we'll go ahead and cut it off there today uh, I'm gonna go and just enjoy my ride here but I wanted to at least kind of film I haven't filmed in quite a while so I wanted to make sure I don't get out of practice with it so go ahead and drop a comment in the section below there and uh, as always, I'll catch you guys on the next dark side as this is the way. Chopper Fit Senior, yes. See ya!